afternoon, it's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 11th of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so with regards to stats, uh, Asian markets overnight certainly mixed. We have the Nikkei certainly bre breaking to a new high, uh, well, recent new high since 2011, I think it is. Uh, in terms of the German DAX, we, um, sorry, the uh, rest of your, uh, Asia, we have the uh, Shanghai more or less closing flat, but the Hang Seng closing down 100 points. So again, potential risk off, risk negative. We did have US markets yesterday, certainly coming um, under pressure towards the late, uh, latter part of the day. Uh, intraday, it was under pressure, then eventually you pushed higher than you are now, looking at weakness at the moment. Uh, in terms of uh, European markets at present, you have the FTSE down 10 points, the German DAX flat, French CAC under pressure. Uh, you have the FTSE MIB, Hybex, certainly both trading higher. Okay, and stock 600 certainly trading lower. We have concerns over Catalonia. We have concerns with regards to um, North Korea as well, especially given the fact that Mr. Trump now has, has requested uh, 10 times uh, more in terms of its nuclear, nuclear arsenal. He's an absolutely bark raving lunatic. Okay, he's going to lead the war, uh, lead the world to World War III. Uh, as said by Mr. Corker, uh, people within his administration now are concerned about him, call him the... Uh, Call it the adult daycare centre, okay? So again, he needs to uh, get a grip on himself. And uh, really, he's, he's a racist, he's a misogynist, he's a serial rapist. He's, I mean, even Mr. Weinstein now obviously getting uh, accused of uh, of sexually assaulting uh, several women. This individual has boasted about doing so. So how he's become the um, the, the actual uh, uh, president of the United States, that, that alone speaks words, okay? So we've got... Uh, a racist, someone who's xenophobic. He's, I mean, this individual really epitomizes the the uh, individual that you don't want to be. So the seven deadly sins are all there. Well, they Mr. Trump at the moment. Okay, so really is um, he really is a sickening uh, individual. Uh, but either way, that his whole family's in the White House, so he's got his whole family in there. Typical dictator style. Okay, so again, we'll see exactly how the market responds. From my understanding, in my interpretation, it's risk off. Okay, you have concerns with regards to the Iran deal, you have concerns with regards to North Korea, you have concerns with regards to Catalonia, just to name a few. Okay, uh, also add in Turkey in there, the Turkish situation certainly is escalating as well with its currency under pressure and its, and its index under pressure as well. Uh, also, with regards to um, uh, overnight, uh, we had the scandal at Kobe Steel as well. Okay, so again, watch, uh, watch or expect commodity prices certainly to come under pressure, and that's why you're seeing the FTSE certainly under pressure at the moment. So Certainly uh, overwhelming uh, number of arguments on the downside, okay? Now let's look at the uh, technical picture. Let's see exactly where the market stands. Uh, looking at Europe, obviously, we have concerns with regards to um, the Brexit and the impact with regards to that, okay? Let's start off with the German DAX, okay? German DAX certainly failing to push higher. Ever since it got to that weekly double top, we've certainly stalled, okay? Daily chart at the moment as well, certainly under under pressure. We did have Mr. Lockenslager yesterday talking up the possibility of obviously QE ending earlier and uh, the ECB certainly exhausting um, their toolkit, okay, and certainly looking to uh, walk that back and in terms of the uh, the QE, QE operations, okay, and therefore that's obviously uh, positive for the euro, okay, uh, uh, although Catalonian concerns are negative for the euro, so bear that in mind. So daily chart at the moment, you could clearly see a double top on the German DAX as well. 60-minute uh, chart, we are certainly looking weak. It certainly is uh, a cause for concern uh, with regards to the German index. We've certainly failed to push higher above 13,000, and it certainly is being rejected. Traders certainly throwing in the towel. Now, on the downside, you are looking at support around the 12,900 and eventually gap for 12,830, so watch out below. 10-minute chart at the moment, again, you're just seeing weakness ever since we pushed higher, opened up higher at 12,970 this morning. The market certainly has rejected that in terms of the German DAX, certainly pushing lower. So, so you're looking for weakness there. Uh, let's look at the rest of the markets. Okay, looking at the uh, French CAC now. Let's bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC also under pressure now, certainly hitting a new pivot low, as you can see there. 60 minute chart, certainly under pressure. We have a HS formation. So, just to clarify, HS formation and CAC, you're looking at uh, HS formation. Uh, you are 5380. Your neckline is around 5850. Okay, and you're looking at a target of 5320. Okay, on the downside, so watch out below in terms of the French CAC. You do have a gap fill at uh, 5270 as well, and previous resistance equals support at 5295. So, 
certainly look for weakness there in terms of French CAC below okay so watch out there in terms of the rest of the market let's just uh, go through to the FTSE 100 now give you an insight with regards to the FTSE 100 uh, again this is a trade that I've taken I've got a short trade open on the FTSE uh, daily chart you clearly see we're into resistance okay that key resistance of 7550 zone okay certainly held well 60 minute chart again you're looking at further weakness now we're looking to potentially flush lower down to uh, 7500 on the FTSE that's the potential downside target on the FTSE so watch out below certainly looking for weakness there there's no real support until then 10 minute chart again you're in, under resistance again the, the trade that i've taken with subscribers on the live analysis services is hns formation okay so hns formation top ever since we put in the right shoulder the market rejected and now looking to flush flushing looking down to go down to 7507 7510 7505 on the FTSE itself uh, looking certainly looking for weakness there okay looking for weakness below 7526 27 certainly is resistance for now and again that's like i said looking for a royal flush in the FTSE uh, give especially given the fact that uh, sterling certainly is higher okay uh, certainly under pressure uh, we have uh, Theresa may's interview certainly being another blunder she really is an incompetent woman i've got no idea how she's become the pm of the, of the country uh, everybody's asked for her to quit she's she's failed to stand down she's lost the election or certainly lost the power in the election lost the overwhelming majority uh, she had a absolute um nightmare of a speech as well she couldn't get her words out uh, she's not very eloquent uh, nothing really I, I can't say anything positive with regards to her. if i were, if she was a stock i certainly would be short okay more than happy to short theresa may okay so certainly can't see anything there of any value really uh for the country and for uh obviously politics in general or any type of uh, uh progress certainly uh, looks very stagnant uh, and really is um is really a, a company that's uh, screaming to be short that's probably my best explanation okay she's really made a mess of brexit as well brexit certainly seem, seems to be going nowhere even after we've had three or four dialogues now nothing concrete has come out from it okay so certainly no progress there and it looks like no deal certainly is the uh, inevitable uh, outcome now we have had miss merkel as well throw her uh, op opinions in there as well with regards to uh, brexit stating that uh, i mean this is what i'll just quote from before you german economy minister zippries expects we will have some trade issues but uk will suffer far more than eu 20, 27 nations that's absolutely true okay uh, germany is a bellwether france is a bellwether and they'll be able to uh, weather the storm but with regards to uk it will be struggling okay so it'll be interesting to see how the uh, market responds there okay so that's the status quo uh with regards to the equity market again I'm, i remain short from 7535 and looking for a downside target of 7505 7504 that's my downside target on the FTSE. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of the uh, the actual markets. Uh, last but not least, I can look into the euro stocks for you quickly as well. This is another trade that I've taken. I'm certainly short right now on the euro stocks. As you can see, 10 minute daily chart is into resistance. 10 minute chart certainly has flushed from that 3604. Uh, again, it's a HNS formation, certainly brewing as well. You can clearly see that here, folks. Okay, so you have your left shoulder here, your head obviously has been put in right shoulder was put in today and now we're looking to flush looking to flush down to uh, 3585 and then eventually 3565 so watch out below really i think that's probably the best thing i can say well not the best thing i can say well that's the only thing i can say with regards to this market right now bias threatening remains bearish overwhelming number of factors there that are certainly bearish especially with regards to mr trump and mr corker arguing amongst themselves certainly uh, delaying the uh, tax reform agenda as well Okay, I think that's enough uh, for, for this video. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal. Signals on market updates from leading providers and download the app. Certainly take advantage of the bonus as well. Be sure to use a link uh, on, the, um, on my website and go through there. Goodbye now.